Welcome back to another video and if you are new here, welcome to my channel where I post anything that has to do with fashion, editing, music, reactions and basically anything that has to do with me or the internet, we got it here. And if that sounds like something that you are into, please do press the subscribe button, like, comment and share the magic. Now let's get straight to the video. So for today guys, um, we're going to be doing a video titled, it's probably going to be switched around but it's basically apps that i would recommend for editing so editing apps i'd recommend um so yeah this is basically inspired by instagram my instagram followers have been and probably my subscribers as well have been asking me what editing apps i use um based on what they see and what i broadcast out there so yeah so basically today's video i'm gonna split it into sort of like two segments so i'm gonna start off with photo editing apps and then video editing apps to make it easier for you guys so that you won't have to keep on asking me you just refer to this video every single time so yeah it's just going to be one video not that i'm separating two videos just one video and yeah let's jump straight into the magic i don't ever get this way i don't want to feel this pain so photo editing apps so this is not in any ranking order it's just I'm just gonna be yeah, mentioning them in whatever order. Um, so I will, Lightroom, I'll start with Lightroom. Lightroom and Snapseed are basically the same thing. They basically, well, I would group Lightroom, Snapseed and Facetune. Facetune and Snapseed are, are more so, or rather Snapseed is like a combination of Facetune and Lightroom, in my opinion. So Lightroom is an Adobe app, right? This is my photo that I just opened up. They've actually just updated the way things look. Okay, there we go. So basically with Lightroom, you are able to sort of like make your photo look more professional and change certain things, like specific things like saturation, um, a dehaze, dehaze things. There's so many um, terms that are very technical here. Um, I won't lie, the first time I downloaded it, um, it was a bit tricky for me. Um, because I was used to Visco and all of them, so like usually with Visco they come with their own presets. Um, presets is a is a term that's actually used a lot, um, when it comes to um Lightroom. But yeah, it's really cool. Um, you'll find I'll actually show you another app where you can get presets if you're the type of person who likes to use presets. I'll actually I use presets a lot. I know it's once I discovered them, once I discovered Lightroom, I was like, you know, actually I like this whole idea of having themes. So if you, you look at your favorite Instagram influencers or just Instagram people, uh, you'll notice that a lot of them will have like a theme. And I always wondered like, how do they keep on making sure that everything looks like, you know, the color that they want. For example, I'll say Sarah Langer, she has a theme. It's like very like Coco Brown situation. Um, I'll try, I'll put a screenshot or screen recording so you can see what sort of theme she's going for. It's also similar to um, Gefilu in my bottle. I don't even know if I said that right. I apologize. I, yeah, I suck at that. Um, so yeah, so Lightroom basically helps um, keep that sort of like theme that you have. Um, and also like obviously uh, helping you with the saturation because sometimes it's like very colorful which means a lot of saturation and sometimes like warm you can change sort of like the tones that you want you want cool you want whatever feel you may be feeling so usually um there's already presets that people buy presets basically is self-explanatory so it's like settings that you already set before so pre-setting <laughs> so it's this i am I, I am out here guessing this is what how i interpreted it so yeah so it's settings that you can sort of like copy and paste instead of you always sort of like changing the settings for each photo all you do is just like go to that certain certain preset so um, lightroom allows you to copy the same settings and paste them around and you can save that preset um, there's an option that allows you to save um, but yeah, that's very complicated, like to be able to come up with your own presets, you need to know your photos, you need to know all your settings and things like that. So that's a bit advanced and a lot of people <laughs> ain't got time for that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to make this very friendly in that sense. So um, I'll show you an app where you can get the presets for it um, for free, but most people do sell them. So 
the ones that in which people sell mostly are very advanced and like they're proper and then the free ones they're not that they're not proper but they seem they tend to be like quite rushed and very you know high saturation low contrast you know everything is an extreme of the other so if you're trying to find you know what you can do also once you've gotten a preset it doesn't mean that you can't like sort of like customize certain things so let's just say you you get um uh, that teal and orange preset so it highlights colors that are teal and orange so what you can do is let's just say you don't like uh, how orange it may look you might you can decrease the orange so the setting isn't you know permanent it, you just copy paste and then you can still reduce the colors you know the whole shebang um so yeah lightroom is definitely for that and it also um, I like Lightroom because it maintains the picture quality. If you know me, I love anything that maintains any picture quality or video quality of which I take. I want it to come out crisp. So usually with um, Lightroom, it does really help with, um, I'd say, like sharpening and keeping... Like with sharpening, it helps keep the picture crisp. But then obviously too much sharpening, your picture gets fuzzled. You know, it's not... You need to know where you stand and you might need to play around a little bit until you get to that point so you can do that on lightroom snapseed it's something that i started using proper like recently so i'm not you know quite um but and what i know about snapseed is that um it helps you target certain areas um in your photo so let's just say you want to lighten something like your bag in the background or um you want to increase the saturation of that one item so you go on it um and then you go to, let me check, let me open a photo right now. Um, I'll put a screen recording. Okay, so I got a photo up. You go to tools and I think you go to selective, yes. There's an option that allows you to go to selective. Um, and then you pick any item that you want. Um, let's just say I'm going to pick something like this here. You see how it has like a mark like a b so the b is for brightness so what you do is if you want other options like contrast saturation and all of them and um, you sort of like touch in the middle of the screen and you scroll up and down like anywhere in your screen you just vertically basically and then it, it will go to things like structure saturation contrast and brightness basically just to show you what you want to do and in order to um sort of play around with the amount you you sort of move your finger horizontally so vertically is what you want to change and then horizontally is the amount of which you want to change. So obviously more this side is the negative side, more the other side is the bright side. So so let's just say for the this um, object that I've picked, I want to increase the saturation. And also um, in order to um, increase or decrease the area or, yeah, it's the area basically, matte, like the area of... Um, what you're trying to do you can use your two fingers and you sort of like you know how you zoom in in the photo zoom out on the photo that's what you do so when you want to zoom out it's a bigger area of what you've selected of the item if you want to zoom in then it, it decreases the area it's covering you get what i'm saying so this it's smaller area this it's broader so obviously i've selected this item sorry and then i go to my situation right um I go like this if i go this side it takes away completely saturation um and then um if i go the other side right the saturation is like at a peak because it's at 100 so basically yeah, it allows you to do certain things like that um yeah it's pretty dope because you're, you're able to pick which items you want and um, saturation is sort of like the um, it's, it's very similar to vibrance it's like it takes the color the, the thing that makes that gives the, the object color so if your skin is like nice and rich and full of melanin you turn it down it would most likely turn it gray or black you just you know why take away the color completely um so yeah that's what saturation is um you know the things brightness really really light really really dark so um yeah you play around with those things if you are the type, type of person who wants to make a certain object or yeah something stand out you can do that um with lightroom what i use in lightroom um you can also increase the colors of certain things on on uh, lightroom let's just say you take in a photo and there's a lot of red in your photo and you're trying to make the red pop so um okay let's make another example um i took this photo let me just go back so it's original, right? Heal, hoo hoo hoo. Okay, let me pick a photo. 
Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me see if I have a nice photo. I'm gonna take this. No. Okay, let me see. Okay, I'm gonna take this photo, right? What you can do is you go to the option called color, and then at the top there, top right, there is, there's an, um, a label that says mix, and it's got like a rainbow wheel. You press there, and then it shows you all the different colors that are there. And let's just say we're trying to make yellow stand out. So let's pick the yellow. And then you see how you have hue, you have saturation and luminance. You play around with those things. Obviously, saturation will allow more color. So the yellow standing out more. Then the luminance sort of like helps you um, pick like the shade of the yellow. Do you want it to be more lighter or do you want it to be more, you know, on the darker? Dark. You can see it's changing. Like you can see by the, the yellow, even by the sign that says um, and smoke cakes out there. I don't know if you guys can see. But um, yeah. You do that and with that's with every single color that's on here that's rainbow and then obviously if you're not sure what colors are in a certain um object then you press that target icon that you see in the middle you press the target icon and then you pick let's just say you don't you're not sure uh oh sorry i don't know what i just did there and you press um whatever object let's just say you're not sure what color this is you press and hold on it and it's showing you that it's you know it's those different colors so i just pressed at the pole and it showed me that the dominant colors that i'm making up then the color of the pole is the orange and the yellow so then that will help you saying okay cool this okay i want to increase more of that and also do recognize that just because um it's point you're only pointing at the color at the of the pole doesn't mean that that those colors do not exist in other objects for example this because I'm dark skinned, I'm a black girl, there's going to be orange undertones and all of that in my skin. So since I'm trying to change the color of the, the pole, which incorporates the color of my skin within that, it will also change my skin tone. So you need to be careful with those things, like especially orange and yellow um, and a bit of red that makes up the color of people of color. So yeah, that's what you use Lightroom for mostly. I mean, obviously you can crop. There's so many other options that are out there. Um, let's look at all the other options. There's cropping. Um, again, maintains the quality. There is um, effects. So that helps more with, fix, um, with things like texture, clarity, dehaze, and whatnot. Um, there's lights, obviously exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. Shadows increase and decreases the shadows in the photo. Whites, and if you have whites in the photos, and if you move them this side, is the whites are gonna stand out more. Cool. And then there is um, RNI Films. RNI Films is an app for like filters, like lots of filters. Um, so if you are tr like have taken photos and you want a certain concept that's very filmy like this is the app to use like it's got some really dope effects to maintain that um, filmness of a photo. So you have uh, they have certain categories for the effects. So they've grouped the effects in, di in different categories. So for example here we have vintage and then you press obviously you move things. And all of them, oh well, most of them, I'd say about 80% are free. And then obviously, if you want the advanced stuff, you gotta pay. That's the thing with these with these apps. Um, but I try my best um, to avoid the ones where I have to pay, unless it's like really dope and I can see that it's very beneficiary, then I pay. Um, but otherwise, if it's something that's not speaking to me like that, I'm not finna spend my coins. So yeah, different app, different um uh, filters that you can use mostly just based on cameras and then um, we also have um, Huji film okay I actually offloaded the data there but let me download it again uh, Huji films is also very similar to RNI films I think also the difference I think um, Huji film allows you to take the photo off of the app so instead of like opening an, a photo that's already taken and editing it uh, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, that's the difference. Um, I don't think you. I think you have to pay with Huji Films to convert a photo that's already taken to like a film effect. And then there's Facetune. Facetune. I have Facetune one and Facetune two. Facetune two obviously is the most updated one. Facetune one is the one that you pay. I think it's about thirty bucks or fifteen bucks around there between the two. I'm not sure. 
might have changed um so i bought it back in the day because that's when they had it like they only had that one you had to buy it and it was a ting back in the day sorry about that and my mom walked in um yeah like i was saying face tune um so yeah it was a thing back in the day and like i really wanted it because it looked really dope and i was like getting into editing and all of that so um yeah face tune um it helps with obviously okay let me let me open a photo for you guys hold up hold up hold up i'm gonna keep on opening the same photo because it's close so yeah it helps you with um smoothing your skin so you have smoothing effect and then that's the old school one by the way you smooth the thing is with this old school one it doesn't allow you to control the amount i think that's why i ended up updating it to face tune because face tune 2 allows you to um sort of like control the amount of smoothness you want you want so in this one you just had smooth and then you had smoother um and then that was just about it and then um with the old one there's also patch so patching allows you to to take a certain piece of something to cover something else so let's just say you have a top right a plain top would be easier um and you have a stain like you took a photo you took lots of photos and you had the stain and nobody told you about it anyway um yeah and you want it to be removed because that's a dope best photo my photos are gonna be ruined by just a stain so what it allows you to do is sort of like patch so you take a piece of like the material somewhere else in your top where it's normal and then you cover it we cover the stain um yeah so it's always easiest obviously if your your top or whatever you're trying to cover is the same color and the same texture as what you're trying to patch it with um, otherwise if not then you're gonna have to use um adobe photoshop there it's technical so yeah unless you got time yeah i suggest you wear plain stuff so that you can avoid or just don't have stains on your clothes that works best um and then oh well, these are a lot of apps guys i might i don't know if i'm gonna be able to finish them. i have a lot of apps i play around a lot and then we have um unfold right um unfold is the one that's basically used for instagram stories because it's um using the instagram story layouts or dimensions that's nine by 16 yeah those are the pixels dimensions yeah that thing um so yeah this one basically has like very dope um layouts and sort of like themes around Instagram stories, like really cool effects. So you have, obviously the free versions allows you to have like the basics of the layout. So just like normal squares, it's called classic. I have the, um, the Unfold Plus, so I'm paying the monthly subscription one, but I'm, you can pay the once off one, I forgot what price it was, but usually these things are very expensive, but I'm paying the monthly one because it was worth it. I was like, you know what, actually, this is worth my time um and then um we have let's see we have so many different types of effects actually hold up okay unfold right um it has different it has really dope effects guys this is one of my favorite apps for like instagram stories to maintain some sort of an aesthetic so it has like that computer aesthetic it's called digital wave really dope um it has a journal um effect if you want if you like that style of journaling and i think it also has like unfold business so it allows for for people who are starting businesses online especially like online stores or any sort of online thing that you have going on so i think it links things like your domain and the theme that you want around or across your social media platforms so there you pay like serious money so right now I only have Unfold Plus, which is still under like personal blogs sort of situation. It's really dope, guys. I recommend this one for sure. Like whenever you want to repost something, you want it to look dope, you want to repost a lot of things in one, but still maintain a certain theme. And it also maintains quality. Again, very important to have apps that maintain quality. You want quality every single time. Do not ever compromise on your quality. It's important. Like what? Why are you trying to look all, you know, muzzled? That's not what we're about. You quality, sis. You top quality, mandem. Right. And then there's PixArt. PixArt is very, um, 
very artsy, very creativeness. Like there's a lot of things you can do there. You can scrapbooky sort of situation. So you take a photo, let's just say you look at yourself and you literally want to put wings on yourself. This app, you can do it. Let's just say you want to um, make yourself a PNG, meaning that you'll have like a, a transparent background. So you want to make turn yourself into a sticker. This app allows you to do that. You want to... Um, I don't know, you want to edit something, you want to edit an Instagram DM, make it seem as if you got a DM from Justin Bieber or Drake or something. You screenshot um, and you empty DM from, you just go to Instagram, you go to you go to Justin Bieber or some screenshot with a message already there and you want to replace um, the icon and change it to Justin Bieber. You can do that there. You literally, there's a lot that you can do there, All right? You do a lot of editing there. And maybe I can actually do like a separate video on just PixArt because I'm not going to be able to explain each and every single one descriptively. It's just for me to let you know what you can do in different apps. But do please comment down below um, out of the apps that I've explained, which one would you want me to go into detail with? So maybe I'll go into detail with like maybe top three in the photo section and then the top three in the video editing section. This is just to summarize all of them for those who might be quick learners also can just do it on their, on their own. And then for those who just need a little bit of help, definitely let me know so I can make the things to be done. So yeah, if you want to do that sort of thing, just like editing, putting different stuff, do a whole collage, you know, the collage that I posted um, on my, that I always post on my Instagram story. Just a collage of yourself you know when you just like cut pieces of yourself and just put them together that's what it's about okay yeah pix art definitely i recommend as well one of my favorites it's i can be creatively free on pix art like i can create whatever i want posters pix art's really dope the thing is though um a lot of these apps where you're able to edit and things like that they don't have a lot of um range in terms of like fonts that they have so they'll have the the, the general one the boring ones i i refer to them as boring because i use them a lot and it's just like 10 of them so they don't have much range in terms of that so uh for those people you actually what you can do is let's say you just like the, all the other features and you don't like you do not like the font there's an app that that's called fonto so it's literally photo and font together so fonto so there's literally every single font you can think of on fonto so um Usually Fonto, a lot of people use for um, YouTube banners, um, like branding sort of situation, I'd say it's that because you can add the font on the photo that you want to use. So actually, yeah, that's another app that I'd also recommend. Let me know if you guys want me to do a video on showing you guys how to do like your banners and all of those branding sort of situation for those of you who want to create a YouTube channel in that situation. Fonto is right next to... There's a video version of it. Um, I think it's called, yeah, it's Vont. So that one, that one's for videos. So it's the same thing as Fonto, but just for videos. If you want to add a certain font on your video, they have it. They have really dope, like thousands, I think. <laughs> Probably I'm exaggerating, but they have a lot of fonts. And then there's Reto 3D Pro. I got the Pro one. So Reto 3D, let me download it. I offloaded it. I don't know why I did that. I probably ran out of space. Um, Reto 3D is the that effect usually there's a, a, a certain camera that you're supposed to buy but that is hella expensive i'm not at that level yet but hopefully i will be um it allows you to sort of like have that 3d effect of photos so you know those uh, those photos i used to post i don't know if i post them anymore actually i post it on my feed and i post it on my story that sort of thing where the photo is moving like it's showing a 3d movement <laughs> moving around you 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 get what i'm saying i'll actually put a screenshot or a screen recording of what i mean here so that you can see and um, there's actually a camera that is made just for that so the camera basically takes three photos at the same time in different in slightly different angles to create that e that effect i first saw that effect on will smith's youtube channel and ig because uh, will smith is actually pretty dope when it comes to those things he shows some really dope um uh what's it imagery and just like visuals they were really really dope like i was mr one he a cool dad um so yeah i ended up purchasing it because i had the free version and i didn't really like i wanted to see what more it could offer whenever i see something that's top quality guys i freaking buy that thing or i subscribe to whatever it is that i need to subscribe to um yeah it's that um it's not downloading at the moment 
I'll check it out just now. Um, and then we have presetters. Presetters is linked to Lightroom, so it's all the presets. Um, a lot of presets, not all of them. Let me not say all of them. Um, so you go in there to sort of like um, get presets for Lightroom. So if you want a certain theme, let's just say you want that cocoa feel, whatever, all you do is whenever you take a photo, you open it up on Lightroom, you take the preset from presetters, and you paste it. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Let me know again if you want me to create a video going more into detail on how to do that um, on the comments. Utilize the comment section, guys, so that all your answers will be on all your answers so that all your questions will be answered you understand tell me and you shall receive i'm very selfless when it comes to creativity guys i shall share daz cam daz cam also similar to um sort of like r and i films and fuji films um except it, it's, it has like different cameras you can pick like it has like digital versions of the cameras that you have physically or that you'd have to buy yourself physically so it puts the same effect it's as if you took the photo um now obviously certain uh fanatics of cameras and photographers might obviously argue that the quality might not be exactly the same but it tries to mimic that so if you ain't got the coins for that um, technology has allowed you the opportunity to have all your favorite cameras in one object or one um, device which is your phone so you take whatever photo you want um using that obviously there's going to be daz pro in every single one of these apps especially top quality ones there's always going to be a pro version i haven't really purchased the pro version because i don't think it's something that i use as often i'm quite happy with the ones that i have right now they have the polaroid effect i really like it um so it allows you to convert the photos you've already taken into um whatever effect or whatever camera you wanted to come out of um so they have the free ones it comes up pretty dope um when you open it it actually comes out you like quiet you can even change the video you can they need the video because it's different cameras because some cameras take only photos some cameras take only videos so it still adheres to those sort of regulations so if you've picked a camera that back in the day didn't take um videos then it won't convert to a video like you won't have a polaroid effect on a video because a polaroid camera doesn't take videos it's just only for photos so that's pretty dope. It tries to make it as realistic as possible in that sense. I don't know how to walk away. You want me to waste my time. Then we move on to video editing. Um, a lot of my apps are actually all over the place, but it's fun. Um, video editing, I have glitch video. It just, just to add a glitch, certain glitches, different types of glitches. On your videos um pretty dope as well um, the first app i ever discovered that had a lot of things in one not a lot of things but like a lot of effects in one was vismato i had to buy that the, the pro because i was very limited to how much i could use uh, vismato is very theatrix dude it has all the shaking the camera effect the rgb effect the color just go dingy effect um, um it has yeah it has really dope effects i use that if i'm trying to like show off in terms of like effects there's also another app but i think i uninstalled it because i was so upset that i couldn't purchase it at the time so i was trying to hide my sorrows by you know trying to make myself you know not feel bad about it um it's that one and then there's motion portraits that that one also is linked to youtube branding and things like that i use that one to animate like drawings cartoon drawings so oh another thing with PixArt, you can also draw yourself along with um with um ibis paint x so you know those drawings that i've been doing like on, on the beginning of my video you okay shawty okay shawty you saw how i came out and i blinked yeah <laughs> that cartoon or i don't know how to call it that drawing of myself blinked and it was an image so motion portrait allows like um drawings to come to life um so cartoon versions of yourself they literally become cartoons in that sense but the thing is it only moves the face so your lips your eyes just your face it does it hasn't moved to that point yet i'm still trying to learn how to do that like the 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 motion thingy for the whole body like create an actual cartoon of myself still trying to learn that 
um but once i've learned it i'ma come and share the magic yes sir this camcorder um camcorder is like a video version of like um retro huji film sort of situation so it puts in that vcr is it vcr or vrc <laughs> Like that old camera thing, man. Like those 90, 97, 90, 90 something videos it makes it look old, like it was taken on a tape. Okay, then there's Video Leap, right? That's the app that I use to um, edit my YouTube videos. So I'm going to do a separate video um, explaining what Video Leap is and like what I use it for. Because, yeah, I like things that are like very portable. And so uh, a lot of times, if not all the time, actually, I edit my videos on my phone. It's simple, it's quick. I'm lying on my bed and then uh, right before I sleep, I edit, I put it together. Everything is there. Everything is, you know, my laptop. Uh, yeah, not that much, um, which sucks because like a lot of the apps on the MacBook app store, there's not much in editing. You either have to pay like a lot or you're just going to have to settle with the like limited amounts of things that are on there. So like Final Cut Pro and all of them, you pay like 1000 or something, 1.5 around there. So um, yeah, this is what's working for me at the moment. And then once I get there, I'll get there. But I'm happy with what I have right now. Um, and then there's fonts again, like the same as Fonto, but for videos, there's Prequel. Prequel, I'll compare it to like Unfold in that sense. Um, because although it's, it's, it's catered for Instagram, I'd say, because the dimensions are very just for Instagram because it's like, the story dimension and then the posts like the feed dimensions those are the dimensions that it allows you to pick from not that you can't post anywhere else but you can see that it's catered for instagram prequel is the is a video editor that allows you to put different effects on your videos so it puts different effects and filters on videos but it keeps it clean and nice you know those videos when i post on my igtv for my fashion um, album art as outfits situation that thing how I put like that news TV broadcast theme. Like it has certain themes for different effects. If you want like a weather theme, it can put like a, a misted effect. If you can put like a plastic cover effect over the video. Like it, yeah, it has a lot of dope effects that you, you wouldn't even think of. Like it has like um, VHS. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> like that camera video thingy. It has VHS effects, VCR, it has um, Miracle, it has like 60s, it has jewelry, capture, snapshot, dust, dust effects gives it that brown effect, that sort of filmy, so it has that grain situation that's going on. It has dream, it literally makes the, whatever you, the video you're trying to transfer it to, it makes it look like a dream. You know how like in, in movies and all of that, a dream sort of like kind of looks like distorted and all that situation. You get what I mean. Just download the app. I, I definitely, I vouch for this app. It's the one, 10 out of 10. I love it. Um, and most of the things are actually very much free. Like everything here looks pretty much free to me. I mean, you what they do is you have access to every single filter, but they'll give you maybe the first three versions of that filter so that you can get to taste it. But then the first three versions are not even whack, like they're proper. And then they snow, also a dope app. I don't use it as much anymore because I felt like um, prequel can offer the same or similar stuff. Um, so with snow, I actually, it's very similar to prequel. So I rather opt for prequel because obviously I knew snow before, but then I found out about prequel. So I don't use snow as much anymore. But snow, I found out in a, in a YouTube video, there's a, a lot of these um, YouTube beauty YouTubers basically um use this to make themselves look unreal <laughs> like have you seen them james charles and them and nikita dragon sometimes when they're taking the videos on instagram you can see they have no filter on you literally like yo so this is how flawless they be looking turns out they they, they use this thing even when they're like yeah on their ig stories they be looking perfect as hell so um what they do is it's like it literally allows you to face tune yourself like a face tune video so you go in there and it, you can smooth your skin. You go to the beauty part, I think. Yeah, you smooth your skin. You take away your pores. It literally closes your pores. Yo, guys. Yeah, there's a lot. Don't believe what you see sometimes on um, IG. Yeah, guys. So we've reached the end of the video. Thank you so much for making it 
this far i appreciate it um please do not forget to press the subscribe button like comment and share um we're on the road to 700 subscribers actually scratch that we're on the road to 1000 subscribers let's get there help me get there share 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 subscribe get your friends to subscribe let's get there and um yeah i can't wait to show you guys a whole lot more please keep on letting me know in the dms because a lot of these ideas and a lot of these um a lot of the content that i'm coming up with is based on what you guys are asking for so yeah shout out i am listening i am seeing what you guys are saying um i'm gonna produce so like we can all you know create this wonderful world and escape this world that we're living in right now and just create our own world and do fun stuff through editing and yeah just art thank you so much guys till next time shut 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 I know I'm gonna be alright. I promise I'm gonna be alright. You're a blessing and a curse. Got away with words. I know I should be first. You say, wait, your turn never been through this. But I know you're gonna miss.